the maestro. I know that. That's it. That's it. That's it. The maestro. The maestro. Dirty. Shots! Really? I think that would be cool though. Why? Ooh. The maestro. Shots! How about you hold it? There's a lady in the waiting room. No gay. Welcome to my dirty shorts. I know, right? Every time. Like it's brand new. I don't even know how many episodes this is, right? But every time. Okay, it's supposed to be short. I'm going to get it together. Usa. Okay. Sometimes it's good to train outside your sport. Sometimes it's good to find someone who can help you with the kinesiology or the physiology or the other aspect, physical aspects of your sport by doing something outside of your sport. I'll speak from me. I damaged my shoulder. I learned to throw right handed by going to the football coach who had me throw a football right handed. And from there, I developed my right handed ability to throw ba a baseball. My shoulder got better. I can now throw with both hands. But I thought it was so interesting that when he started me with the drill, it wasn't with a tennis ball. It wasn't with a ping pong ball. It was it, it was actually a football. Being able to manipulate, control the football, and make a throw with a football with my opposite hand. And that helped me, ironically enough, with my handle in basketball, being able to now handle the ball better with both hands because all those little micro muscles that you trigger. For my footwork, I you all know how much I love to take charges. Well, a lot of that or all of that had to do with my footwork. And it was a partner of my mom's who played ball with my mom's who took me to a ballet instructor. And she taught me all these various foot positions and things like that to help me be a little bit quicker to get myself in position to take the charge. And it worked. I would use those all the time and even started to coach those when I became a coach. The other thing that helped me outside of sports was my shooting either left hand or right handed. I would actually shoot with a, you know, the, the little plastic balls that have the holes in them that are kind of wiffle crazy. Well, I would, back up one side of the room, glass on the other side, and work on my rotation doing that. And I know that sounds like a basketball-specific drill, but I got that drill from a tennis coach who talked about how you place the court in quadrants, and that's how you would practice. You would roll off the mat to match your tennis swing and then you try to land the ball in specific quadrants of the court. Uh, so I just transition transitioned that into my basketball game. My shooting percentages went up. My free throws percentages went way up. And it was just a great drill. What drills do you have maybe that are outside of the game that help you with your game? There are so many great players here. There are so many players here with so much awesome ability. I'd like to know, are there things that you do that you want to share that are not necessarily basketball related that help to make your basketball game better? Drop a line in the bottom. Let's talk about it. Thank you all for checking out my dirty shorts. <laughs> oh, wait, you want me to read? Thank you for listening to The Maestro. Thank you again for checking out the Maestro Sturdy Choice.
drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. See you next time and... Is it last call? Have you seen my glasses? The Maestro. Dirty. Yes!